You guys up already? Hi. Hi, good morning. It's a new day. I'm feeling better. Yesterday was a rough one. It's so nice to wake up next to the ocean. The waves. The golden sunlight. Dogs playing. All right, Mike, you ready to rock and roll? Ready to roll. Time headwind. Hooray! Come on, up and over, up and over. Hurry up. Tough road. Tough, tough rock jeepy road. I don't think there's been a car on this road in a year. <laughs> this is that lollipop that kid threw at me at the parade a few days ago. Gracias, amigo. <laughs> he just gave me this lollipop. Mmm. It's pretty good. We're going like three miles an hour, heads are down, and we're just charging. Charging, charging, charging. We made it to the highway. Oh man, that was a biatch. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate headwind? It's the absolute worst. Ah! That wind out there is killing us today. It's so nice to come in here and just take refuge and chill for a second and eat some burritos. Oh boy. Tough one. Both Mike and I last night ate the same food and we're both feeling a little funny today. We both woke up with a little bit of diarrhea, diarrhea, and we're feeling kind of exhausted and zapped. Wind and rough road isn't helping, so we're just kind of sitting here trying to get our bodies in order. Ugh. <laughs> I think Mike's gonna fall asleep. Bike touring isn't always glamorous. This morning was hard into the wind, and we have another 20 miles into the wind. And we're looking at the map. It'd be so easy just to get on the highway and head south and just get on the road and make progress, but. For some reason, we chose to do the Baja Divide, which is really hard. <laughs> but, usually it's, it's worth it to do hard things. All right, nap time is over. We're gonna try to motivate, even though we're not feeling amazing. We gotta start making some progress. Going right back into the wind. Our goal for this afternoon is Mission San Borja, which is an old mission site, and it's about 20 miles from here. We can do it, we can do it. Might be slow going, but we're gonna get there. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so we gotta get our stomachs in order so we can eat a whole pile of beans. essentially crewing a bunch of people who are walking from coast to coast so it gives me hope if they can walk this we can ride this he says the mission is beautiful there's a hot springs there it's from the 1700s this old mission and it was just good to see a smiling face out in the middle of the hot desert you know 
He offered us some juice. Good guy, good guy. For the past five days, I've had saddle sores that are getting worse and worse and worse, which might have something to do with my attitude getting worse. I just had a little uh, temper tantrum, ripped off my chamois, and now I'm riding. I'm going commando. And so far it feels better, but man, saddle sores are the worst. I have never gotten this low on a bike tour ever. Usually I love them. Of course, there's some tough moments, man. No, this one has just been brutal. My body's falling apart, it's exhausted, I'm feeling sick, saddle sores. It's hot, I mean, God. My mind has never gotten to this point where I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'm done. <laughs> Usually, when I set my mind out to do something, I do it all the way and nothing will stop me. But holy hell, this sucks. Ugh. I don't know why, maybe it's a mix of just hammering for too long, 10 days straight, you know, coming off a 100 mile running race two weeks before this. I don't know, but this is a suffer fest for sure. For right now, all I can do is pedal and go forward. And that's what I'm doing. I found one comfortable position on my saddle and I'm kind of like scooted up on it and my butt cheeks hang over the edge so the sores don't touch the saddle. And it's a weird way to ride, but at least I don't have constant pain. <laughs> oh, yikes, this sucks. We only have about seven miles to go though, till we get to the mission. We are on a mission to the mission. In the middle of nowhere, there's an old 17th century mission. Wow. And the light is perfect right now. live here this is Angel and he's taking us to the Aguas Termales the hot springs the dad his father said that that activates activates your body's defenses and we need some of that right now Mike you're excited for this it's gonna be so good it's gonna be so good our bodies need it and my butt needs it I'm hoping this is the magic cure to my butt problems the idea of hot springs all day have sound terrible but now it sounds amazing yeah uh, and it's a beautiful area here. We were thinking that today was going to be an easy day because it was only 45 miles. But no, it was not easy at all. Our stomachs are still really a little messed up from whatever we ate last night. And my saddle sores are horrible. Like, I'm scared to sit on my seat later. This is really cool. As much as I've been suffering all day, to end up here in this little patch of paradise with this nice guy who's lived here all of his life. Seven generations of his family have lived in this little spot. He said that school teachers would come here and teach him when he was little. So even though today kind of sucked, right now is amazing. What do you think, Mike? Huh? Huh? Agua. He said this water is full of minerals, 
and it's good for your skin and your bones and uh, that's pretty much exactly what we need. So uh, let's go in there. Oh. It is not hot at all, but it is very refreshing and perfect. Here we go with the aqua in my eyes. Pretty nice way to end the day. Now, I'm gonna let these waters heal my butt. We're done for the day, which is great. Today was a struggle. The last two days have just been brutal. And I gotta admit, I have to be very honest, I'm, I'm struggling with this whole idea of finishing this ride. And what does finishing mean? When I set out on this ride, I didn't know how far I'd get. I didn't have a specific goal. I didn't say the bottom. I just wanted to have a great experience, a great adventure. And uh, I'm in so much pain. Like, my butt hurts so bad. And I feel like a rookie. It's such a rookie mistake to have saddle sores. I mean, brand new bike, brand new seat. I knew the seat was a liability, but I was like, oh, I never get saddle sores. I'll be fine. But ever since, like, day two or three... They've been creeping up and creeping up, and today it just got horrible, and it really, it feels like I'm sitting on hot coals, and I just can't ride my bike. I don't know. I feel, um, I feel a little down about the whole situation. I don't want to quit. I don't want to just go home, but I have those thoughts in my head right now, like, why don't you just get on the bus? Go head to the highway, get on a bus, and head north, and cross the border, and fly home, you know? But uh, this is not how I envisioned ending this thing, but uh, I'm miserable. This is not that fun. We'll see after a good night's sleep what happens. But uh, as of right now, I'm, I'm suffering. I'm struggling. And I'm trying to dig deep and get through this one. But I'm trying to figure out why, you know. Like, why do I want to keep going? Like, what's driving me? Like, nobody's paying me. Nobody's expecting me to get a certain distance. It's just me. This is my own pressure I'm putting on me. And it's an adventure I've been planning for, you know, almost a year, nine months, whenever I heard about this ride in February. And uh, to just pull the plug early is, seems like quitting. And I don't, I don't like to quit, but when it comes down to it, I want to enjoy what I'm doing. And right now I'm not really enjoying it because I'm in too much pain. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving, <laughs> which is crazy. Ah, maybe the miracle of Thanksgiving will power me tomorrow. But right now, I'm standing in front of an old mission, and it's beautiful.